So we got a lot going on today, but what this video is about is changing the spark plugs on this little Honda Insight. To start the spark plug job, you'll have to get the spark plug, and each Insight is individually marked for the index of the spark plug so that it faces an optimal position for fuel economy. It's very interesting, but I'll show you real quick how to check that. Take this cover off. We'll go ahead and show that in the video. Move these coil packs out of the way. And then we're going to have the coil pack come off. Can I get it on camera? It's right there. And that is a B. Each cylinder has a different stamp, A, B, C, or D. Uh, mine, I have already checked, are all Bs. Some cars needed two Bs and an A, etc. But uh, it's good information to have. Go ahead and check yours, and then go get the plugs, and we'll keep doing this job. Uh, first thing you'll want to do is pop the hood. There's a catch right here. Boop, boop. And then the lever is right here. Easy enough. Uh, you can disconnect the battery if you feel it'll help. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, these cars are approaching 25 years old, so you're going to get a lot of fasteners and stuff that are missing or broken. Uh, I don't actually have any nuts here. This cover just sort of sets. If I had to guess, I'd say that's probably a 10 mil. Uh, let's see here. With that cover off, uh, I'd say we remove this bracket and that looks like a 17 on that stud. Yes, I couldn't find my 17 mil. Go ahead. Oh, that was barely even on there. Okay. We'll move that out. It's weird that that was, a, this is just a stud. So that can come out. And back here, these three things are the coil packs. We'll go ahead and disconnect them. It'll look like this. That's out of the way. Then there's a 10 mil bolt right here, right here, and right here. We'll take those off. Gonna break these loose. And they should just come out. We'll go ahead, with all those bolts broke close, we'll go ahead and take the coil packs all out. <laughs> da -da -da. There's your coil pack as it comes out. Hi, 
hide those and then we're gonna go this is a spark plug socket this is a 16 millimeter spark plug socket and it has a little rubber it's not one to show up on the camera there but it has a little rubber catch we'll break the spark plugs loose Go ahead and take them out. So that's what mine is looking like. Actually, it's not too bad, although there is some oil there. So um, if I had to guess, I'd say it's the uh, grommet, spark plug grommet might need replaced soon. Which isn't that bad of a job. I'll get to it later. But go ahead and take all three of these out and we'll put the new ones in. Here's the new spark plug. Get it in the socket. New spark plug in the socket, take the protective cover off. We're going to put on just the smallest dab of anti seize. And that should be all you need. In fact, that's probably too much. Then we'll go ahead, insert them by hand. Make sure to insert them by hand. Thread them down. And then we're going to torque them, uh, I believe it's 17 pound feet. If you do not have a torque wrench that goes down to 17 pound feet, put it snug. Uh, I used a 3H ratchet there, so I don't even recommend a quarter inch ratchet if you have it, just because it's that much harder to over torque. But we'll go ahead, change the other two, and then we'll put the spark, or excuse me, not the spark place, but we'll put the coil packs back on. All right, <laughs> we're almost done. We'll go ahead, move this bar back up. Put this stick back down. And then we'll clip up the coil packs. And put the cover on and you were done <laughs> that was incredibly easy so check your uh, spark plugs when you can it is definitely a weird thing I've never heard of with the heads being indexed but according to sources online it does actually affect the gas mileage so for as cheap as they are and the fact you only need three, I say just do it factory. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. Enjoy your weird little car.